Hi, today we're going to show you how to use uh, the new SAM encoder. It's version 4.9 or above, particularly because it has now a choice that you must make between version 1 and version 2 of Shoutcast. As of this recording, I'd say 98, maybe 97% of all Shoutcast servers use version 1. Shoutcast version 2 is still kind of new and uh, still in a testing mode, if you will. <clears throat> so we're going to show you how to set up an encoder using uh, version 1. Uh, your provider should tell you whether you have version 1 or version 2 at time of purchase. So be sure if you're not sure to ask your provider. <clears throat> Excuse me, I have a bit of a cold here. <clears throat> I'm trying to get over it here. So this is my normal setup for Sam. And... Um, Yours, of course, may look differently, but what we want to focus on today is on the encoder window right here, and we want to create a new encoder, and that's either going to be done by clicking on this plus button here or going to menu and selecting new. We prefer to do the, uh, the, the fast way, if you will, so we're going to click on the plus button. We have a Shoutcast server, <clears throat> so we're going to use the MP3 lame encoder, which is the recommended one here. So we're going to go ahead and make sure that's selected, and then we're going to click OK. And in your bitrate, you're going to select whatever bitrate you can use. Now remember, this is also dependent on your account. So if you've got an account with only 64K, don't go over that. Just go up to 64K. <clears throat> remember, whenever you get a Shoutcast server from a provider, if they say your limit is 128, that means you can go up to 128. If you need to stream at 48, then... 48 it is, but you can go up to a certain bid rate. We're going to keep ours at stereo, and the sampling rate, we're going to keep it at auto. Uh, the general options, basically, we're going to leave it the way it is, because basically this one down here is the more important one. Um, auto reconnect um, encoder after so many seconds. That's in case you drop the stream for, some, for whatever reason. It'll try and reconnect again. Um, I just tend to leave them alone. If, if I notice that the stream drops, I'll just try connecting manually. Um, click on the Server Details tab here. <clears throat> and so if you have an IceCast server, of course, you're going to select IceCast. But we have Shoutcast. We're going to make sure Shoutcast is selected. And then right here is where you have your choice of Shoutcast version 1 or 2. The default is version 2. If you have a Shoutcast version 1 server, which again, about 97, 98% of the population or of Shoutcast servers in the world are using version 1 still, you need to select V1 like we're doing here. Um, make sure you ask your provider uh, which one it is if you're not sure. But V1 is the one you want. Then go ahead and put in your stream information by with your IP number, or you know, you might have a domain name that they've given you. You can throw that in there as well. Don't put HTTP colon slash slash in there. Do not put a colon, do not put anything but either the domain name, <clears throat> which could be stream4.stream.com for all I know. <clears throat> Whatever the provider is, okay, use that name or the IP number like I've done here. Put in your port number, and they should have supplied you with an encoder password. So you want to put in that password in here. Uh, station name, uh, I suggest putting a name in there, whether it is the station's name or if you're just a DJ that's spending some music online, put your name in there. But put something in there uh, to replace that My Station name. Select your genre, whatever it is that you want to have. Uh, you can put your website in here if you want. Um, and a lot of other information. Uh, enable stream titling, uh, I'm sorry, enable title streaming. Um, that's basically if you want your songs to be, um, um, uh, if you want people to know what songs you're playing, <clears throat> you would have that on there. List on public station listing, that is uh, to be listed in shoutcast.com's uh, directory. Everything else, you know, just, just leave it as it is, unless you know what you're doing, but just leave it as it is and click OK. So I'm going to expand this out <clears throat> because if there's an error somewhere, you're going to see it right here in this description area. It may say error here or something, but this will tell you the, what's really going on. That's one of the nice things about SAM. One of the few, if not only, programs that will actually say, hey, we have a problem, and here's what it is. 
click on it and connect and you see I'm encoding and uh, stream bits and all that I'm not streaming any music right now but that's how it works I'm gonna stop it right here <clears throat> so let's go through this this is your start button this is your stop button uh, DSP is basically what you would always have on because you want to select audio DSP pipeline as your input source um, and this would be record sound from the sound card that is if you have like what you hear or stereo mix set to your sound card that's how you would um, have that a uh, couple of other things I want to go back into the encoder <clears throat> and I'm going to double click in here some folks have asked hey how can you record your session or your streaming session pretty simple go to stream archive click here and then you want to go ahead and just give it a location you know uh, it, it kind of defaults to this, but you can change this location over here. You can create a new file for each session, overwrite each file for each session. Um, <clears throat> what I would really suggest, because these files can get big, is that you write a new file every, and then I might change this to maybe 30 minutes. Um, again, depending on your bit rate, it can be a lot, okay? And then just click OK on that. Um, and then what happens is that as soon as you start encoding, it starts recording. So you can play yourself back and uh, listen to yourself uh, from your previous session. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to, I'm going to button this up a little bit here with this encoder window. And I'm going to go here, close it right there. And I'm going to put this Thompson Twins song right here in the encoder. And I'm going to go ahead and start my encoder. I'm going to look for the status. The status is saying I'm encoding and I am going to start playing music. And there it is. We're playing music, folks. It's simple as that. I'm going to stop the music here, and then I'm going to go ahead and click on uh, the stop button here, and we are done. That is how you set up an encoder in SAM using a version 1 server. I'm going to click into it again. I want to show it to you. It's the server details tab again. Make sure you select version 1. If you select version two, there may be additional information that's needed, which will be given to you from your provider. But again, if you have a version one server, make sure you select V1 right here. This is again for versions 4.9 and above that are using SAM Broadcaster. Hope that helps. We'll see you again soon.